Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to import an XYD file or a text delimited file in QJS and show it on the map. Once you have started your QJS, the first thing to do that I suggest the most is to add a base layer, add it from the, the XYZ ties layers that we, we see how to do this in a previous tutorial. So I'll link here. Okay, let's move on. Okay, perfect. Let's go in Italy, in the Rulli Venetia Giulia region, which is the one uh, I have data for. And the data I want to load is this one, this text file, which actually has a set of columns. Uh, the first one is an index, the second one a picture, the third one a GPS time, then we have the, a triplet with the, the coordinates in UTM, it's in the RNDT 2008. And then we have the angles of the vehicles. This is actually a file where we um, have a reference from a camera installed on an MMS vehicle. So let's do it. Let's import it. Uh, how can we do it? We just need to go in the layer menu, click the end layer and select add the limited text. Otherwise we can go into the data source manager here in the toolbar and click on the tab here where it says the limited text. The file to, to use is this one, which is in the, my data directory. Okay, perfect. The layer name, let's call it car position. The encoding is the one of the file you're using, so UTF-8 is OK. The first thing to do is to select uh, which file format has our text delimited file. You can choose between CSV, comma separated value, which is every column in the file has uh, the comma as separator. Also, you can choose uh, um, to separate lines using a regular expression or you can use a custom delimiters. Uh, custom delimiters is actually our choice because our file is made by column that are space separated. So uncheck tab, let's check the uh, space. There is no need to quote or to escape anything. So the current settings are okay. For the file format, we are done. As you can see here in the lower part of the screen, you have the fields here. After doing this, we have to tweak a little. The, and you can do it with the record and files option. You can discard a set of uh, lines. Uh, sometimes it happens that text delimited files have an header which actually is descriptive so uh, maybe removed also you can say to QJS that the decimal separator is comma and not the dot and that the first record has field names one thing I suggest you always to have is to trim the fields so you have no extra spaces also, uh, you may let QJS to detect field types and to discard field types. Actually, the most important thing to do is to set the geometry definition. You may use a point coordinate or a WKT, a well-known text column, as you can see, but depends of the format. Sometimes may, you may have a column that contains WKT, sometimes you cannot. In our case, we have that the interesting fields are 4, 5 and 6. So the X field is actually the 4, the Y field is actually 5 and the Z field is 6. If you have DMS coordinates, you can set this and you can use the grid minute seconds as input. Actually, we have decimal 
input, so not a problem. The CRS is this one, it's, it is selected, but you can also um, change it. In our case, this is right, it's RDT 2008, so you can now take a look to sample data and you can tweak the fields if you like. In our case, it seems like everything is okay. So let's click add and take a look. Okay, close. There is something here. As you can see, it's very dense. Okay. And maybe we have another base layer, which is more sensitive. Okay. Okay, perfect. I had the, the Google layers, the Google satellite layer, which is actually very good for our case. As you can see, we have the all the points loaded here. I'll make it brighter so we can see them better. And the red, red is okay. Okay. Once you have loaded, you may want to make some editing here. But actually, this layer is not editable. If we want to make editing over this file, you just need to save it. So export, save it as shape file is okay. So let's call it car points. Everything is okay here. So it has been added. Let's make it red again now the file once loaded is editable so maybe we want to change the fields name so we can go in the properties to the fields tab put it in editing mode if not already enabled and the chain the field. So this is the ID. This is the GPS time. No, this is the photo. This is the GPS. Let's open it again. This is the GPS time. And this is XYZ. And then we have the uh, Joe. This is the pitch and this is the rotation. I am okay. Let's take a look to the attribute table. Okay, hmm. from the data, I think this is the pitch and this is the rotation, but never mind. So, you have your, your data imported and you can edit it as you want. You may want to add the label, you may want to filter a data a bit. So, this is the basics of importing CSV that, and text delimited files in, uh, in general. It's uh, quite useful to import export data from different uh, worlds. So thank you for listening. I hope uh, it has been, this tutorial has been useful to you. Don't remember to subscribe to receive updates. And thank you for listening.